So Texas Governor Greg Abbott's plan to look like an even bigger bully than Ron DeSantis has completely blown up in his face. Let's talk about it in today's video. Hi, I'm Mike Greiner. I'm a lifelong Democratic activist who's concerned about the direction our country is taking. I'm also a lawyer and an academic, and I'm here to help you stand up to the BS of the MAGA crowd. So Texas Governor Greg Abbott has made no secret of the fact that he wants to run for president in 2024, assuming he can survive re-election in 2022. He's got two big problems standing in his way, though, of winning the Republican nomination. The first one is, of course, Donald Trump, who claims that he's running for president in 2024. I mean, we'll see ultimately what happens. But if he does, most polling seems to indicate that he is the front runner among Republicans. The second problem he has then is Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who's done a really good job of appearing to be the biggest badass in the MAGA crowd, doing his best to bully gay people, people of color, teachers, and most recently setting up an election police force. That's right, an election Gestapo here in the United States. But that's why the mega crowd love him. He's their kind of person. Abbott must be extremely frustrated sitting in Texas watching his counterpart in Florida get all these headlines about being such a bully. Because of course, that's what Republican voters seem to want, the biggest bully possible. And right now, Ron DeSantis seems to have that crown. While Greg Abbott looked around to see if he could find anyone to bully, his first idea was to try to bully truckers just trying to bring their wares across the Texas border. Well, that kind of blew up in his face when it turned out that he was hurting his own economy, increasing inflation, literally starving his citizens by allowing food to go bad on trucks while they sat in 20-hour lines for these ridiculous inspections. So Abbott managed to find another group who he could bully, that being immigrants, especially those who are fleeing some type of violence in their home country. In other words, those who are seeking asylum here in the United States. Abbott, in what he thought was going to be a big tough guy move, said that he was going to get buses and send those immigrants illegally crossing the border over to Washington where they dump them off. And Joe Biden would then have to deal with them, right? Well, it kind of hasn't worked out quite that way. Number one, it turns out that President Biden is actually doing a pretty good job securing the border, despite what the Republicans say. And as a result, most of these buses have been half full at best. Secondly, most of the immigrants taking them are perfectly happy to be going to Washington. I mean, despite Greg Abbott's claims to the contrary, Texas is not heaven on earth, especially if you want to make sure that you have heat in the winter and don't want your electric to go out on you. Finally, Abbott seemed to think this is what's going to be some great stunt dropping off the immigrants, not at the Capitol building, not at the White House, but in front of the Fox News offices. What's more is that he thought he would keep it secret when the buses were getting there. As a result, these immigrants would simply walk off the buses and kind of look around and end up causing all kinds of problems for people in D.C. Well, as it turns out, there are some good people of conscience in Texas, people who tipped off the authorities in Washington. And as a result, when the buses pulled up in Washington, these immigrants were greeted with volunteers and churches there to help them. Most of these immigrants were immediately taken to stay with relatives, and those who didn't have relatives to stay with were provided with food and shelter. The response of most of them has been, hey, Greg Abbott, thanks for the ride. The whole situation has turned into such a fiasco that Fox News, who initially were hyping the whole thing, have pretty much stopped talking about it, which you know means it's going pretty badly for the Republicans. What's more, it turns out, it's kind of an expensive process. Leasing buses and sending them halfway across the country is not cheap. And Abbott, who's been using state taxpayer funds for this political stunt, has decided he's going to start soliciting for private donations to finance it. Something that, from what we hear, has not been going all that well. Ultimately, I think Abbott's bigger concern should be worrying about his re-election rather than worrying about the presidential election 2024. From everything we're seeing, Beto O'Rourke, the presumptive Democratic nominee, is actually gaining some momentum there in Texas. And given the repeated missteps that Greg Abbott has been making, this could provide a potential opportunity for Democrats to knock him out of the governorship in Texas, something that truly would be a great accomplishment. Well, if you want to see more videos about how incompetent Greg Abbott is, check out this one over here. I mean, Abbott has shown himself repeatedly to be one of the worst governors in the country, 
and he really showed his true colors when he called a special session of the legislature basically to take away voters' rights and was stymied for months by Democrats who literally fled the state so that he couldn't pass his repressive legislation. I'll see you in that video. In the meantime, let's hope for continued progress. Thank you.